Hi guys, I'm Kelly and today I will be showing you how to install and configure MRTG on your Windows machine. If you know me, I own a Mac and so today I will be using my friend's laptop to show you how it's done on a Windows machine. Before we dive deeper, let's take a look on what MRTG actually is and what it is used for. So what exactly is MRTG? MRTG is a software that is used to measure and monitor traffic loads on network links. It is a tool that generates HTML pages which contains PNG images, providing us with a live representation on the traffic load. So now that we know what MRTG is and what it is used for, let's get on with the installation. So the first thing that we have to do is to install MRTG itself. I got mine over from this website right here. I will leave a link down below for you guys to check it out. It contains documentation on MRTG as well as download guides um, for Windows and any other operating systems. So to download, let's go over to the download section and click stable release and make sure to download the zip file if you're running a Windows laptop. If you're running Unix or Linux, maybe you will prefer to use the tar file instead. I chose to download the latest version, which is 2.17.7. As you can see, once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and extract our file. In my case, I changed the directory so that it's easier for me to access it later on. You don't have to, but it's easier for me to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. So once we've extracted MRTG, the next thing we have to do is create a new folder. Now this folder, you can name it however you want, it's going to contain all the HTML pages in this folder. So I'm going to name mine's report, you can name it however you want. Now that we've done that, the next thing that we have to do is to download Perl. So I'm installing Perl from this website right here, Active State and make sure to download the latest version and pick the right operating system that's compatible to your device. I have mine pre-installed right here, so all we have to do is click next and click install so that it can finish installing on our device. As we know, MRTG is written in Perl language, so it makes sense for us to have a version of Perl on our machine so that MRTG will be able to run properly. Come on. Now that we've done everything and install everything that we need, let's go on to the next step. So the next step of our installation process is to configure our SNMP. As you know, Windows 10 offers SNMP as an optional feature. So all we have to do is install it and configure it. So we can go over to our settings and go to the apps and features section and scroll down until you find SNMP. Once you've located, just click install and you should find that it's removed from the list. To make sure that you've downloaded SNMP successfully, you can go back to the apps and features section and you should see that it's still installing. Once it's done, you should be able to find it in the list below. Now that you have 
I've installed SNMP, we can go over to the start button and then we can go to uh, services and scroll down until you find SNMP service. Once you find it, click on it and go over to the tarp, uh, trap, sorry, to the trap uh, tab and you can change the name into public. You can change it to however you want, but I, I will use public for now. And then we also have to add in our trap destination and just type in 127.0.0.1. This is the IP address for your local host. So we can just add it and click apply. The next thing that we have to do is go over to the security tab and make sure that we add in uh, the community name public as well. And make sure that the community rights is read only. Make sure that you've clicked on accept SNMP packets from these hosts and also have local host in the description box below. Once you've done that, you can simply close it and we're done with our SNMP configuration. So now it's time for us to configure our MRTG. So to do that, let's open our command line tool or command prompt and uh, let's change the directory of our terminal to the bin folder of our MRTG. So let's just type cd and locate our bin folder, copy the path and type it down. The next step is to type down the following command. Perl CFG maker public at localhost dash dash global so for the work directory we can just copy down the path to our folder that we've made earlier mine is called reports and just copy paste path and for the output we type in server.cfg next we just let it do its thing and finish processing once we've done that uh, we have to type down the next following command which is Perl MRTG server.cfg. You should be able to see that um, the following output is displayed on your command line. To check if you've done it correctly, go over to your reports folder or the folder that you've created earlier and you should be able to see all these new files created. This means that you've done the process successfully up to this point. So the next step is we can try to click on one of these HTML files and open it on our browser. And as you can see, uh, several graphs are generated. And this is the graph that will monitor your traffic load and your network. So technically we're done here, but we want to make it automatic. So let's go on to the next step. Technically, we can stop at the previous step, but it would be nice for us to make it automatic. So that is what we're going to do for now. So we don't have to configure it every time we want to run it or every five minutes. So what we have to do is go over to our MRTG folder and locate the file server.cfg. It should be located in your bin folder. Once you've done that, you can just open it in more apps and you can choose any app you like 
but I will choose notepad because I find that it's easiest to do so. So the next thing what we do is we have to insert the line run as daemon and set it to yes. So let's just do that real quick. And once we've done that, just close the file, save the changes, and go back to our command prompt. So here, what we have to type down is the same command that we typed down in the previous step, which is Perl mrtg server.cfg. And let's just let it load and finish processing. And then we can reopen the HTML file that we've opened before. And just let it be for a few minutes to see if there are any changes um, in our graph. Make sure that you don't close your command prompt when you are um, running MRTG. So, let's see you in a bit. So after some time, uh, this is what my graph looks like. As you can see, there's a tiny spike right here and it's slightly different from the previous graph which I've shown earlier. So as you can see, our MRTG is running and take note that the results might be different on your computer depending on your usage and your traffic load as well. So that's it for today's video. I hope it was helpful and see you guys next time. Thank you.